Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you a pretty easy background that is inspired by the beautiful landscape of Skyrim. I started with the sky, which should look a little bit gloomy, so for this I used a greyish purple color. You can also use a bright grey tone and if you like add some pale shades of purple with a colored pencil or with Copic to create it in a similar look. I spread the paint all over the upper half of the picture and it really don't have to be perfect or evenly, just try to avoid straight strokes. Let it dry so the next layer of color won't bleed right into the background. After giving it some time to dry, I continued with a deeper grayish purple to paint some clouds and again try to avoid straight lines for the clouds, instead make the edges more fringy with little strokes. You don't have to make perfect clouds, I mean there are no perfect clouds. Try to let it just look a little bit randomly and loosely. To give this piece a pretty contrast, I added some kind of a pale peach tone and with this color I created a soft hint of the sun that hides behind the clouds. But don't add too much of it, it should look soft and gentle. After everything is dry, it's time to paint the mountains. For this I used a dark cold grey tone as a first layer. Of course you can also use black, but black mountains would look a little bit too harsh in this, but if you have painted a more darker setting, black mountains would be perfect for it. With some little strokes I added some hints of trees and vegetation instead of making clean edges, to make it look more natural. And then I just blended it out below with the same greyish purple I used for the clouds before. If you like to add more contrast to the mountain, you can use a darker grey and blend it out with a lighter one.
So now the upper half is done and now it's up to you if you like to add a little lake or a small countryside or if you only want to have those mountains as a background. Do what you prefer. I decided to go for a small lake and kept it a little bit simple because this is a lazy background. It's about creating easy but interesting looking backgrounds. I combined a light grayish blue and a pale blue gray to create the water. With a brighter and deeper grayish violet tone I added some little trees and for these I didn't add much details. It's enough to keep it rough. It looks great if you add some bigger and smaller trees randomly. Last but not least, I added the pale peach tone from the beginning to the reflections as well. And that's it! Now you can just look if you want to add more color or contrast or even highlights to this lazy background. Keep in mind that you don't need to use Copics to create this background. You can use any medium you like, no matter if it's with colored pencils, mixed media or watercolor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know it in the comments if you want to see more lazy background tutorials and if you would like to see some special colors for it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And like always, stay creative. Bye bye!